My name's Jeff, and I'm a sales engineer with Magnitude Software. Today, I'm going to tell you how to install and configure our MongoDB ODBC driver. With our MongoDB ODBC driver, you can use your MongoDB data in tools like Tableau, Power BI, and Excel. Before you install the driver, you should check if the program you're going to use it with is a 32-bit program or a 64-bit program. If you're not sure how to figure this out, have a look at the FAQ on our website. You need to match the bitness of the driver with the bitness of the program. So if you're using 64-bit Tableau, install the 64-bit version of the driver. After downloading the driver, double-click the MSI file to install it. You'll need to accept the licensing agreement, and you'll need to provide a directory to install the driver to. Then, let the installer complete the installation and hit Finish. Once you've installed the driver, you need to make sure that you have the license file in the correct location. This is the lib folder underneath where it's installed. You'll be emailed a license file separately. If you haven't received it, make sure to check your junk because sometimes it gets labeled as spam. Now that the license file is in the right place, we can configure the driver. Click on Start and then go to the ODBC Administrator. Click on the System tab and look for the Simba MongoDB ODBC DSN. In the DSN, we'll set the host name and the port number to match that of our MongoDB server. If your MongoDB has authentication set up, you can configure that either using username and password, Kerberos, or LDAP. The different options become available depending on which one you choose. If you're not using any authentication, leave it as no authentication. If you're using a replica set, you can configure that also. If you're using SSL, click the SSL options button and configure your SSL settings. In the advanced options, you can configure things like double buffering or the size of binary and string columns. In the metadata section, you can configure options for how your MongoDB collections are translated into a relational schema. For more details on this, please see the documentation for our schema editor. If you need to troubleshoot an issue, you can set logging in the Logging Options section. When you've completed your configuration, click the Test button. If the test does not succeed, double check your configuration and try again. Once you have a successful connection, you're ready to use the driver to connect with your MongoDB data. If you run into trouble configuring the driver, have a look at the installation guide or the FAQ on our website. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at solutions at simba.com. Have a look at the links below for information on connecting different data sources to different ODBC applications.